Hello guys, welcome back to 1878 Blues, another video about the managerial search, the latest news and to be honest I'm sick of thinking about it, I'm sick of reading about it, all I want from this is Mishiri to go but it's not going to happen in it, it's not going to happen, he's got a stadium, he's building and a lot of other things, he's probably making money at the club somehow even though we've wasted 500 million on a load of shite players. I, I honestly cannot believe to myself that he actually is considering what the favourite to become new Everton manager, Vitor Pierre. I can't believe he is actually going to go through this. I know that Lampard is still a contender, but the fact he's the favourite, Vitor Pierre, is an actual joke and a laughing stock in the league. Like, we are an absolute laughing stock. <laughs> I've never heard of him. But all you have to do is read his CV and read about a bit of his history. I've heard that he went over the legal action over his former club. I can't remember which one, but he's you know fin he's just recently got sacked by Fenerbahce. I mean Fenerbahce. I mean seriously, fifth in the league in the Turkish league. It's like League One, League Two, and that's a massive disrespect to League One, League Two. So I do apologise. It's an absolute joke. He, the guy, like Billy says. Went to China as well to manage. I, I've got his, I've got his CV here. He was at a Portuguese, I can't pronounce them, but a Portuguese club between two, 2004 and five. I'm not going to go through all of them to be honest, but he's had a few clubs in Portugal. Yes, he won the league title um, with Portugal in 2011-13. Big deal, big deal. Only club apart from them and Benfica compete for the title like the Spanish league has been for the past 15 years or so. Big deal. Who cares? Our Halley or something like from the Saudi Arabian club. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not too sure where they're from, to be honest. But he was with them for the year. I mean, how could you go from Porto to that? Oh, yeah. Money. That's all he seems to care about, I think. Goes back to Olympiakos. Won the Greek title and the Greek Cup. Big deal again. Big deal. Like the Spanish League, like the German League. Only one or two winners in there. Yes, then he went to Fenerbahce, funny enough, in 2015 and 2016. What, I don't know what happened there, but I'm assuming he lost his job. Um, then went to 1860 Munich and got them relegated, I think, to the third tier. I'm not too sure. I mean, <laughs> trying to keep us up in the hardest league in the world to stay in. I have no hope with this guy. And then, again, for money reasons, Shanghai... Uh, won a Chinese title, won a Chinese Super Cup. Now, I think they're the only team I know in China. I think they're the only side I know properly. Uh, well, not even properly, I just know them. So, I can imagine they're just like a Bayern Munich in the Chinese league. Um, no big deal again, like I said, for money. I like Benitez to China. You know, basically, when you go to China or places like that, uh, uh, coaching America or whatnot, you are on your way to retirement. You're getting your last page checks coming in. You should never be having another chance, I say, to be managing a big side like Everton. I don't care what people say. Um, it's a joke. But yeah, he goes back to Fenerbahce again um, and gets sacked in December. Um, I don't understand how Mishiri or anyone else in this club is looking at that CV and going, hmm, he has got all the qualities there to keep us off. Absolutely fucking not. And it terrifies me the fact that he could be taking charge of us. I don't even know him. But reading that doesn't make me comfortable at all. Um, listen, yeah, people are going on about the fans doing these protests already, and the guys even came into the club. Listen, we just already have this horrible feeling, and it's happened over and over again. And this year he's made horrendous decisions since he's joined this club that it's going to go wrong again. This it's It's the wrong appointment. It is the wrong appointment, especially the timing of it. Like, we are in a horrendous position. We really have a massive chance of going down here. I've never seen it that, this bad before. And the fact he's bringing in someone like that who has no experience in the Premier League, doesn't know how to keep a team up, it seems. And it's just not the right fit. It makes no sense whatsoever, it seems. Like, Mishiri has got that in his mind that we're too good to go down. There's absolutely no chance. It's just we're a few results away from just pulling away, which is true in a sense. You know, you win a few games, but we can't win a fucking game. So I don't understand what Mishiri's thinking in this because this 
managerial appointment, which I don't believe in anyway, even if he was in not in a position we was at the moment, like if we was 10th or something, still isn't a point, still isn't a manager, I would believe in taking us to the next level. Certainly not keeping us in the certainly um certainly not keeping us in the league, you know what I mean? We, we, certainly keeping us in the league, sorry. Um I don't believe in this manager at all. I don't believe in this appointment at all. I don't understand it. I do not understand it. And it listen, I'm not even a massive fan of Lampard as well, being honest. I think he got mistreated in a sense in at Chelsea. I think they was a bit too harsh in you know, a second. I think they never give managers time, but at the same time it, it proved well for them. They won the Champions League with Tuchel. Um but I don't even rate Lampard that much. We, he hasn't had vast experience though. But at the same time, we have managers who have had vast experience and it hasn't worked out for us. So maybe Lampard is a potential there. Um, I just think it's just a weird appointment though. But um, and he, you know, Lampard obviously knows the league. He's one of the Premier League legends. He he has managed in this league as well. He did well with Chelsea in his first season. Um, you know, he likes to play a lot of youngsters as well. He just seems so more ideal than this Vittor Pieta, or however, however, however you pronounce him. Um, he just doesn't fill me with confidence at all. And I'm sick to death of Mishiri making these rash, stupid decisions. Now, you wouldn't say it's rash in this moment because they are seeming to take the time this time. And, you know, as Pierre has said in his interview, I haven't listened to it yet, but I've just seen the notes of it. That you know he's had multiple interviews with other members of the board and Mashiri and Ken Wright and whatnot. I'm appreciating that the board and Mashiri are taking time with this, but they're taking time on look at the wrong man. Now you could you could be saying to me and thousands and other, thousands of other Evertonians that we are not in employment at this club for a reason. We we don't work for these for a reason because we don't know what we're talking about. We do know what we're talking about. We are supporters of supporters of this club. We know what we need. And yes, you could bring in someone we want and it might not work out but at the same time it's the right appointment. It's the right you know, things don't it doesn't mean things are gonna work out with another manager who we want. But I'm trying to say is this is already a warning signs for us that this is not an ideal appointment, Benitez says, should have never, ever, 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 ever taken over this, taken over his manager of this club. Never. He's gone against the fans, Mashiri. He's already made him self the devil of this club. To be honest, like it's kind of like I just can't. There's no, it, there's no. Um, I can't think of the word for it, but basically, there's no return for him. I feel in terms of the trust of the fans, like I cannot trust this guy at all. I do appreciate he's put millions and millions into this club and he's tried to, you know, change us for the better, but he needs to understand this is not a business, this is not a clothing business, this is nothing like anything else, it's football and you need people who know about football to run the club properly. You just own it, mate, you put your money in, but you have to have people there who know what they're doing. Brands didn't know what he was doing and a few other members who have gone didn't know what he was doing. Um, you know, our head of medic is left. I mean, I've never seen this club have so many injuries in my whole life. Obviously, it could be down to bad luck, I get it, but it's just weird how we've hired someone and then all of a sudden we've had these loads of injuries. So, but that could be down for many other reasons. But listen, let's just get back to the fact that Mishiri needs to leave and he needs to go, but he won't. But we need to do something as fans to stop this because it's just becoming a toxic club and it's making me really upset that we've gone this way. I can't believe how drastic the past 12 months have been. Absolute horrendous for every Evertonian. We've been embarrassed multiple times, multiple times in matches. Results have been embarrassing and the way players like Gerard comes back to our ground, the laughs at us basically. We've got Luca Deans provide an assist against us we've had other little moments like that josh king scoring a hat trick on our ground and he couldn't score for us at all it's, it's moments like that where it just completely like embarrasses your club and fans like we make an absolute show of ourselves and we are repeatedly doing this doing this where have you seen such protest and animosity towards a manager who hasn't even joined the club yet like we really, I, I've never seen a club 
no, not once a manager so much in my whole life and protest against it. I have, this is horrendous decision, decision by Mishiri again. And uh, someone needs to just tell him in the end, go, listen to me, you are making the wrong choices here. You're not thinking straight. Um, I'm just so angry about this. And I, I, I'm hoping to God another manager's appointment, appointed. Someone else. I don't know who anymore. I, I don't really know who, but I just know this guy isn't the one for me. He just I'm just not feeling it at all. I just know it's going to go bad for us. And, and I don't know what's going to go on with us for the rest of the season. I'm really hoping we do stay up. But at the end of the day, I want us to at least fight and have something about us. Because he's, he's saying in his interview that, you know, he wants to organise and uh, basically get the structure back at the club. Um sort us out for basically top to bottom, uh, bottom to top, top to bottom, whatever. Um, I, we have no time for that, to be honest. We don't really have time for that. We just need someone to make an impact now and then we can sort ourselves out in the summer. Because, like it was said, we're not in a situation where we're not going to get Europe, but we're not going to get relegated. Now, we're right near the bottom here. We're the worst performance side in the league in the past 15 games. That is terrifying. That's not good enough. And that's most of the season. If we didn't have that form at the start of the season, we would be rock bottom. So something needs addressing now, something needs changing now. We need someone to come in and make a big impact straight away. Implement their ideas throughout the season, parts and parts and parts, but not change everything. Not digging up. Don't start digging up when you come in because there's nothing to dig up the moment. We need to completely sort out the mess we have right now. We need to clear the mess and sort it out and quickly do something about this 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 run of results because we're only going to go one way anyway i'm out um let's just hope there's a we get some better news in the next 24 hours or so because it's a big 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 moment for the club this this is a big deal um but yeah i'm out so yeah please for this channel as i always well, I'm starting to say on every video now please subscribe please like please comment your you know comment your opinions have even if you're against what i'm saying right now where some of you have been on some of my other videos i appreciate that you know what i mean it's it's an opinionated it's an opinionated world and it's a sport and we all have our own opinions on things so yeah yeah please support us any way you can i'm gonna try and hit 100 subscri subscribers before february i'm gonna try my best i know it's only a week away or a few days away but if i can get some videos out who knows anyway peace out